Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Otisanda and today I'm actually going to give you a very, 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 very basic video today on how to install RAM. That is going to be pretty much it. There is there's not very much simple, more simpler than this. Um, so basically, first thing you want to do is 100% make sure you have no static build up on you before you touch any of your parts. So basically what you want to do is you want to ground yourself either to a metal case, obviously I don't have that here. Uh, so what I've actually got is I've got a little rubber mat on the floor which is connected to my ankle, which basically just takes any sort of static off me so I don't have static build up and shock myself or shock my PC parts when I'm picking them up and touching them basically. But um, first of all, what you've got to do is you get your stick and you put it in there. That's that's pretty much it. It's basically you have different configurations and stuff, uh, they're recommended in your manuals and that. Uh, most of the time for the ASUS motherboard you go for the blue ones first. Uh, that is if you, for instance, you've only got two and it gives you the kind of best recommended setups for... Uh, it's, I don't, I'm not 100% sure how it works but it kind of clashes with speed and stuff and all that and basically how they run together and nicely. Um, one thing you will notice is a lot of that, uh, a lot of motherboards actually, uh, you see these little like plastic prong bits, uh, a lot, some, some motherboards are kind of stuck, the bottom ones, and it's only the top ones that go in and out. Uh, so basically, in which case, for those ones, you kind of put it in at an angle, you put in that one first, and then you drop it in like that. But um, this one right here, this has it all kind of four, and what happens when you push it in, they basically, when it goes down, it clicks, and they lock over the top, and stop you from pulling it out, or stop it from coming out. Um, I've kind of been recommended, and also I probably think it's suitable, that when you push it in, you actually push them in at, like, the correct angle. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to do the blue one first, and basically... What you want to do is, for instance, if you don't have a system, uh, kind of set, make sure your motherboard is resting on something that's got a little bit of flex to it because you don't want to be pushing it down on the hard surface. And obviously, there are little bits that kind of aren't one hundred percent straight, so they will kind of uh, bend, and you don't really want that. So when you push it in, you literally just push down softly, and you will hear click. They didn't actually click at the most time that time; they went a little bit one one angle the other, but they simply click in like so. And there you go, it's in like that. And then basically, if you've only got two, put them in the two blue ones first. Or in my case, I've got four, so I'm just going to whack them all in at once. And that, my friends, is basically how you install RAM. And uh, basically, you just want to click them in so the little plastic prongs go inwards like so. And what I'm, do is I'm just going to zoom in real close right now. Uh, just so you, you guys can get a better kind of look at how the prongs kind of move when they actually uh, do clip in. So let me get the next one out. As you can see right there, push, get it lined up first of all. Yeah, I'll push in one side first. But, and then literally as you go down, you push that in and as you see it kind of clicks in place like so. And you see the little kind of plastic clip, the uh, head bit kind of go over the top. And uh, that, my friends, is pretty much it. It's a very, very simple, easy thing to do installing RAM, and it's something that you may have to do over time anyway. Because there's a lot of, you know, obviously, there's a lot of PCs that when you get older, uh, a lot of PCs used to run on like four gig and stuff. And if you basically go up to a 62 bit system, uh, no, a 64 bit system, I don't know what 62. Basically, you get 34 bit, uh, 32 bit, and then you get 64 bit. And um, basically, a 32 bit system uh, can only support up to four gig of RAM. So if you then go up to a 64-bit system, you then have, you can then go obviously go up to more. But there's no point in having more RAM on a 32-bit because uh, you can only use four gig of RAM. So right here, I actually have four RAM sticks of four, so 16 gig of RAM I've got just there. 1,800 speed. Thank you so much for uh, Kingston for sending out to these for review. I have done an unboxing video, guys, if you want to check them out. But obviously, um, there is going to be a full review up at a later date. Let me just uh, look further forward like so. But there we go, guys. That is pretty much it. Also, thank you very much, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been a very, very simple guide on how to install RAM. To be, to be specific, it is the Kingston HyperX Beast RAM, which uh, is what I actually use in my main system as well. I got this for a review from Kingston. So, also, thank you very much, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. My name is Otis Please click that like slash thumbs up button. I'll see you guys next time.